Hello and welcome to this dead straightforward, dead simple tutorial on how to run MGL2 on Linux. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So in the description of this video, you'll have a link to the savemgl.zip. In fact, you'll have a few links just in case uh, the first one doesn't work for you. In this case, I'm going to use the Google Drive link and I'm going to, I'm going to select download and download anywhere. Now in my case, I've already got the file downloaded in my download folder, so I'm going to skip this for now. Whilst you wait for the download on your end, you want to register at mgl2pc.com forward slash register. Again, link in the description of the video. Fill in your desired username, password, email. Make sure that it's a username and password you remember because you're going to need it to log into MGL2 later, obviously. And make sure it's an email you've got access to because if you ever forget your password, you're going to need your email. Otherwise, you're a bit screwed there. Um, after you've registered for the game, you're then going to do, 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 want to download the emulator. Again, this link will be in the description of the video. This I will download. Save the file. Then you're going to want to download the PS3 firmware if you've not already got that installed. Um, so download PS3 update, save file. It's from PlayStation themselves, so you can allow the download. It's not a security risk as your browser may suggest, like mine did. Now at that point, we've got all the files we need. You know, once everything's downloaded on your end, you've got all the files you need. So everything's downloaded on my end. So I'm just going for the purposes of this video, I'm going to drag that to my desktop. Now, if you've never opened Office CS3 before and never played any game on it, there's a chance that you don't have the firmware installed, you don't have the folders generated that we'll need later for the later steps. So we need to open Office CS3 at least once. Now, on my, on my distro, I can just open an app image by double-clicking it and selecting continue. Um, it might be different on your distro, but just check your distro's documentation, um, etc. So now that we've opened this, we want to install the firmware, which we had over here. I'm just going to drag that here. Click yes. Click yes again if you get that message. Okay. This will open another window. Now, because I've already installed the firmware before, it was very quick. You didn't even get to see it, but that normally takes a little while, so don't panic if it does for you. Um, now you can close the emulator like so. Now what we need to do is open the save mgo.zip. I'm going to keep that on my right hand side. And I'm going to have my other uh, my file manager on the left hand side. Now I'm going to go to home. Now if you're unfamiliar, on Linux, if you press Control H, you can see hidden files like this. Now we want the .config one. That's hidden files, hidden folders, anywhere. Go down to RPCS3. And you'll see this folder called devhdd0. Now in the savemgo.zip we downloaded at the start of the video, you'll find there's also a devhdd0. Just drop, drag and drop that, apply all, overwrite, apply all, write info if that option also comes up. Now I've already done this, so I'm going to cancel this step, like so. And then once you've done that, um, you can now open the emulator and you should find that save MGL is now there. Now, obviously I already had it, but in the early steps, you wouldn't have seen that there. Now you want to go to config and the GPU tab. The reason you want to do this is by default, this will be set to 100%. Um, now, you might want to set this to your monitor resolution, which in my case is this. And I'm just going to select Apply and Save. The next thing, you might want to set up controllers. Um, well, you will want to set up your controller. You have some options here. Select the one that's relevant to you. Now, I've got DualShock 4 controller, so I could have selected that, but I already had SDL set up with my setup uh, now. You can test your controller here, as you can see. You can see this uh, is moving. My mouse is also moving, but that's just due to the drivers on my uh, PC. That's not a big deal when the game actually starts. Um, once you're happy with everything, just select save. And then you can just uh, boot up the game. Now you can press start game. 
Now, this is also another test if your controller works because it won't obviously start if uh, your controller's not working. Okay, so we're just going through this sort of uh, the menus here on the lead up to Metal Gear Online. Let's just put that desktop audio down. There we go. I'll put it down for myself as well. Much better. Here, you'll want to use the username and password used earlier in the video and make sure that you save your ID and password so you can auto log in next time. Right, and I'm back. Now, the one easy way to just test if everything's working okay is just to go into solo training. One thing I should have mentioned as well is that the first time you boot this game, it may crash like a couple of times, but before you even get into a match, which is a great thing, but I'm just going to go into training, basic training here, solo training, BB, just to show you that it works. Dead straight forward. And there you go, folks. That's uh, MGO2 running on Linux. The first time you might fi find this compiling shaders, things like that, that slow it down. But once that's finished, it'll be as smooth as this. Dead smooth, really. So, without further ado, enjoy. I hope that helps someone out there. And I hope to see you on MGO2. Bye.